Now, a grapefruit is a good example of fascia because once we get in here, what is all this stuff? Now, when I did my gross anatomy lab, which involves a full dissection, I had the first lab. Oh, look at that, we've got a little bit of trouble with our grapefruit here. But, if you notice, the structure of a grapefruit, starting from the outer skin, is very much lined with some connective tissue. If you were to think of the grapefruit then, and every cell being contained inside the grapefruit in this way, every container represents a different stage of the fascia of the grapefruit. So these are analogous to epidermis and dermis and the underlying fascia that would be underneath there, as well as structures like muscles. Now, these images are recorded, were recorded of the living human fascia. This shape represents the kind of three-dimensional structure. As you can see deeply into the fascia, this is strolling under the skin by Dr. Jean-Claude Guimbertot. When you see the behavior of the fascia under some pressure, you start to understand how it is moving. Watch as the fascia tendrils of the fascia move. Imagine elasticity, surface tension, flow, and movement. The shape of these quadrahedrons are multi-layered. Look at this. Amazing. The elasticity is the first component. Obviously it can move and stretch. But also, notice how the fibrils can move along another fibril. It's cross-linking is partly normal and partly uh, abnormal, partly, but you'll see this free flow. Look at this. See the way that a tubule of myofascia moves in this rendering. Now watch as you see the tendril move along another. Now think of a membrane spreading and splitting. Observe how it separates. Now it can actually rejoin later on. The splitting is what we think of as the myofascial release. This amazing lattice here in this computer depiction, how it is all enmeshed and entwined in a fractal chaos. And here, the rendering of two tubules separating, for instance. See how the fascia is in constant motion, responding to our every movement, allowing every flexibility of the tissues movement of muscles, movement of the body, joints, everything articulating and allowing this free movement. Watch again as it separates. Now, there is this conduction, this idea of the tubule as it conducts water. See this? As the water passes through a tubule of myofascia. Amazing. This is just to give you an idea of how the body in constant motion is responding to the myofascial release as performed by, by a therapist as they help you to release this cross-linking. Look at this area of densely packed fascia. 
This is the structure of life. Microvacuoles, pressure changes, areas, pockets of fluid. Amazing how much we are water, how much we are space in this free movement of a human being. This is life at its very core. The spreading, releasing, rejoining. Unbelievable. But this is the core. Thank you so much.